Domestic animal species share special relationships with humans due to their excellent human social cognitive skills. But how and why do these skills develop in only domestic species? A report investigated this by comparing domestic and wild animals of the same genus, being the first to conduct a report looking at ferrets from the Mustela genus. Their report was titled, Man's Underground Best Friend. Domestic ferrets, unlike the wild forms, show evidence of dog-like social cognitive skills. This report introduced a statement that people believed hand rearing and sharing our homes with dogs led to dogs developing these social cognitive skills. The authors of this report, however, have looked at how other domestic species also show these skills, and they believe that domestication is a special evolutionary process that leads to increased susceptibility to human communication. These two hypotheses were tested in this report, where 17 domestic ferrets and 16 hand-raised wild mustela cross domestic hybrids were tested and compared to 18 small domestic dogs in relation to social cognitive abilities. Experiment 1 tested the subject's ability to maintain eye contact with their owner and an experimenter, where subjects were held at eye level for 30 seconds. Graph 1 showed a similar score for domestic dogs and ferrets, where there was a high difference between the duration periods of eye contact with the owner that had a longer duration period compared to the experimenter whereas the wild mustela hybrids show little difference between the duration periods. In experiment 2, subjects had to make a two-way choice between the experimenter and owner, who were both holding pieces of food. Results show that do the domestic dogs and ferrets both chose their owner above the red line, more often than they chose the experimenter, below the red line, whereas the wild mustela hybrids chose the experimenter more often. Finally, experiment 3 tested the subjects' responsiveness to human gestures using momentary pointing, or sustained touching, to hint at one of two cups hiding food. The domestic species performed above average for both gestures, compared to the wild mustela hybrids that performed at chance level. From the results, it was determined that hand rearing did not lead to the development of these social cognitive skills, as the hair raised wild mustela hybrids performed poorly in the experiments. The domestic species, however, shared similar high performance results, by both responding to the human communication signals and both preferring their owner over the experimenter. This proved the author's hypothesis that domestic species differ genetically by evolution for the process of domestication from non-domestic species, in social cognitive skills and the way they interact with certain humans. From the results, the authors concluded the reason why was that acquiring these skills improved their chances of survival in human communities, since the wild forms in human communities were often put down as they lack these skills suitable to be a companion animal. And this is why all domestic species share basic capabilities related to social cognition. Thank you.